Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. So let's see how we can use the thesis application uh, to import some AliExpress uh, things here into our website. So whether you have a website and the Shopify or you are into the Wix.com, it doesn't matter the site that you are into. Uh, actually, it's really, really easy to import the thesis application. You just need to go into the provider that has your uh, already your website and go into the dashboard and find your uh, application market so you can look for thesis that's right in here if you are into the shopify you can look for applications and look for thesis you just go into add to site and it's totally for free guys so after you go into the add to site it's going to be sending you to thesis.com and now it says allow it to manage the stores and read basic size and business so if i'm going to go into add to site in here it's not going to take uh, too much. So as you can see, I have the registration here. So what I want to do is to create an account here. Or if you want to, you can use a temporary. And in this case, I'm going to use a temporary mail. So after I create here an account, um, it's going to be popping up this notification. I'm going to close this just for a second here. And now it's going to be redirecting me into thesis.com into the authentication call back. And now it says link your store and AliExpress. So here is our store. In my case, I will be using Wix.com. And let's try to link the AliExpress. So let's go into the free planning here. So I'm going to select this option. It says successfully done. So now that we just install the application from Wix, I want to scroll a little bit down. And I want to choose the option that says AliExpress. Now, let's try to wait just a couple of seconds here. I want to install the extension if you want to do that. If not, it's okay. You can leave those like that. So, let's say I want to register. Uh, once again, I'm going to put my location. It's really important, guys, that you put the exact location you're currently sending into. Because the dropshipping might be having a little bit of troubles uh, just in case you are not using your uh, real uh, location here. So, now it's going to be sending me a full data code into my email here so let's try to do that real quick and after i verify my email is going to be sending me again into the alley tools after that it's going to be asking me for the grant authorization for the access to aliexpress.com services if you want to read that and take a look real quick in here i'm going to agree to the authorization terms and agreements in here and i want to authorize this so we can continue now we're going to go into thesis.com now, as you can see, here we are into thesis.com. Now, as you can see, we can find supplies here. This is the supplier optimizer here. But after that, I strongly suggest you guys to set up your thesis account and add it to Chrome extension. But let's say, first of all, we want to import a product here. So I want to uh, finish this section here so we can start sending just for example, one or two uh, items here for our account. So let's go into the AliExpress. And for example, I want to go back. I want to uh, click in here into the X section. And as you can see, this is the design of my website that I just created a few minutes ago. This is for uh, sending rings. So as you can see, this is a very easy design. So what I want to do is to quit, to quit these products that are not existing here. And I want to put some AliExpress uh, rings so let's go into the find suppliers and let's go for the keywords that in my case that will be some rings and i want to look for those add as you can see there are a bunch of rings that we can add so let's say uh i want to look for maybe this punk numeric silver so it says import so i want to choose this one don't show this again uh, i'm going to go into stay and let's say, for example, I want to import again this elegant gold color here. And I want to import this one as well. This one too. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. Uh, let's say I want to add a few, uh, just two more. Let's say, for example, this one and this one. So now we want to go into our. Uh, imported list so if you scroll a little bit up you're gonna see here the import list so as you can see we have four five six seven and uh, listed here so what you guys want to do is to uh, select here your item here 
I'm going to select all of them and I want to push those to Wix. So as you can see here is ring to you. This is the number of the name of my website. You can use the pricing rule if you want to, if you want to de-enable that. So you can manually edit the product price on the desserts. Uh, it's totally up to you guys. So I'm going to deselect that. And I'm going to go into push to Wix. So let's say if this one enables that. So product is being sent. While the product is being sent, please do not modify the information of the product. So I'm going to leave the, uh, those like that. So as you can see, there are a bunch of failed things. So I want to deselect all of them. And I want to go into the edit product here. So as you can see, it says black rings. Uh, let's go into stainless steel rings. And I want to do the same thing with all the uh, items that I just... Um, importing here so what i did is to push just one of the item that i just imported here uh for example i'm going to do this a little bit more quick so i want to edit this item here edit the product details in here so let's say the title has to be eight characters or less so let's try to delete this classic wedding rings for woman fashion uh let's say we want to delete this one and as you can see, it's a little bit more easier. So I'm just going to hit into save. I'm going to close that or go into the push to Wix. So I'm going to go into OK now. If you want to use the pricing rule, you can do that as well. So I'm going to push that to Wix. It's going to take just a few seconds. So let's take a look at what's happening here. Product has been sent. It. So now we can go back into our Wix application into the website here. I'm going to go into manage here into all my items that are not real so i want to take a look into if they are already imported here into my account so uh first of all let's go into the products here so as you can see these are all the products that are uh, already imported here so what i want to do is to select here uh for example this item here four of them and then i want to remember to show the product in your online store here so i want to show it in my store i want to show this i want to show this as well and now your product was set as visible i want to exit in here and let's see if my website shows already my items so as you can see here's the drop shipping of the alley expressing here so if you just want to start um, with your account you can go into the manage section once again and you have to be really sure that the payment section uh, is now being already set in here. So I'm going to go into my settings if I want to and look for, as you can see here, the checkout settings. I can select this option and that totally depends, guys, of what kind of payments you want to accept here in the store. So there are a bunch of things that we can do here in order for sending that into our account, into our website. So as you can see, guys, you can now use Deezer's totally for free and you can import uh, your AliExpress items into your website. So let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys, if you want to see more about Deezer's application. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.